Hello again, YouTubers on Spongebob 101, back here again on the Spongebob channel. Today we have part 7 of our Spongebob Patty Pursuit playthrough video series. If you haven't checked out parts 1, 2, uh, 6, uh, the le I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description box below, or in the cards. So we're going to continue with Rock Bottom today from level 4-3, 237 Rock Bottom Street. This is going to be so much fun! So, um, originally I p planned on doing part 7 as a, uh, well, revisit to Glove World to, you know, collect more spatulas. But I decided to just continue with the story until we complete it, and then I'll revisit Glove World, uh, Rock Bottom, um, and areas 5 to 6, which I do not want to spoil unless you've already played, uh, if you already completed this game or watched the Spongebob, uh, walkthrough, so... Yeah, uh, we're gonna go through here with Mr. Krabs, you know, using his reef blower to, well, blow himself <laughs> upwards. Um, yeah. Oops. Okay, so no, we have a treasure chest there, so. And you notice we'll try to collect all the coins um, from now on, because, you know, when I first started playing this game, I had no idea what the coins we're supposed to do exactly, so I just skipped ahead and just, uh, you know, tried to complete the level, but clearly there is a Patrick zone there. Um, clearly, if you collect all the coins, you actually get a bonus spatula, so yeah, um, we have to open this thing here. So we're in a lava cave, uh, as I mentioned in the... I don't know, one, uh, I think the previous rock bottom video, part number 4, it reminds me of um, the Spongebob Super Sponge game on the Game Boy Advance and PlayStation because that game had a level in rock bottom or somewhere nearby that um, had like underwater lava pots and stuff like that. I think we need to go down and yeah, go through this gate here. Okay, and there is a plankton zone here as well, so we'll need to come back later, uh, you know, whenever we get plankton, I assume, after we complete the game. So first, we need to grab this stalagmite, and we need to hop back up, and, sh and well, throw it, yeah, essentially, throw it. Okay, checkpoint, great. Let's collect all these coins here as well. Going down these planks. Oh, there's a spatula right there. Great. There we go. So our first spatula collected. But it seems like it's the last one of the three. So I'm assuming that the remaining two were in that Patrick and Plankton... Um, areas. Jumping here, and then it's another glide rope. And it seems like this is the end of the level. There we go. So finish. Level complete. Done. Good. Okay, just good. <laughs> it's not super, it's not awesome, it's just good. Okay. So we'll move on to level 4-4 now. We've got 31 spatulas. So level 4-4 uh, four is Bubble Trouble. And clearly boss battle against the dirty bubble. So let's take a look. This is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be a cutscene, so I'll just let you guys watch that. Oh no! The dirty bubble! What are you doing here? I caught some heat on my last job. Coppers don't like those who rob. I needed a place where I could lie low, and rock bottom's the lowest the bubble can go. <laughs> oh, well, uh, have fun ditching the fuzz. <laughs> I'm on a bit of a time-sensitive rescue mission here, so I'll just be doing it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You cannot flee. Not after having recognized me. I cannot risk a talkative sponge ratting me out. So taste my grunge! Okay, so... 
Yeah, the dirty bubble is a real poet. Poet. Okay, so he's a poet, and um, here we're gonna have to oh use these stalagmites to pop the dirty bubble, which is you know it, it's true. Like that's the whole point, right? He's a bubble, so um, it seems that we only have to hit it for uh, we only have to hit the dirty bubble four times, so it will be done with once uh, with with one hit. So let's see if we can get a second hit here once we get up to that higher platform. Yep, there you go. So two out of four. We got a wall of urchins here. And another stalagmite, so let's see. Okay, there we go. One more hit to go. We have some anchors over hanging over here for some reason. Let's charge through these guys. I like how the um, the background, right? So the background transitions pretty well from a from a graveyard or bone desert to a lava field. Oh, there we go. Pop, you have defeated the dirty bubble. Hopefully Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are okay. And we unlocked the Dutchman ship, so that's area number five. Scary equals funny. <laughs> yeah, so scary equals funny. Um now I think we can't un we don't have the bonus level available yet, so um I'm just going to, to replay bus. some of these levels with characters that we already have to try to, um, you know, get the remaining spatula since we have some time. Um, I did say we're going to be moving back down to 10 minute videos soon. I think I would start doing that for the next video. So part 8 onwards will be like a 10-11 minute video. So it's easier for you guys to watch as well. And we have more content on the channel, so yeah. Um, we're back to the starting point in rock bottom here with Mr. Krabs. Just uh, want to collect the remaining coins. And then... Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, it's totally not supposed to do that. Okay. I keep missing that clan, come on! There we go. Okay, checkpoint. I got another coin here. As well as the Mr. Crab Zone. Awesome, so we've uh, gained access to the vault. Oh, wait a minute, we can't do that. Okay, let's see. I think we had to jump up to the uh, the higher platform first. And then we could... Yeah, I think we gotta jump up to the higher platform. Let's try doing that. There we go. Three more coins, another vault. And a treasure chest as well as the stalagmite we need. Okay, and then we have a spatula right below us. There we go. So that's the second spatula. So probably the next one would be for Gary or Plankton, probably. I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, every time he transforms into one of his special modes, um, SpongeBob act uh, a different theme actually plays from the general level theme, which is certainly nice. Um, I really appreciate that. So that was where the other spatula was previously. 
And I think we should be completing this level real soon once we respawn. Because <laughs> I just got destroyed. Or not. Um, I think there's quite a bit lot more to go here. Okay. Almost done, I think. We're gonna charge right through here. And then we get to be the Hydro Spongebob again. That's what I'm gonna call it. The Absorbent Spongebob maybe. Not Hydro, but Absorbent Spongebob. Oh, we got some more coins here. That brings, us, uh, that brings our total to 136 actually, so... Yeah, we're still just missing four coins. Probably we'll have to come back to this level again later. So you now have super. I made it here. And we're gonna continue. Mission accomplished. Okay, so the second level advanced doctor um, has three spatulas already, so we're gonna go with level three four dash three again, the one that we just played at the start of this video, we're gonna go with Patrick. Because if you remember, there was that little brick zone, the brick. Um, okay, there was a Patrick zone somewhere in this level, so. Um, I think it's actually gonna give us access to that spatula. Let's see. Okay, try again. Yeah, okay, so we have the Patrick brick wall here. And it gives us access to the zone. Let's try to get up here. Um... Wait a minute. Uh oh. Yep. Okay, so uh, we need to throw the stalagmite twice. Once at the deep sea fish, and then once more at that sea urchin wall. Uh, let's see here. We need it to respawn. Okay, there we go. Let's get that. And then up here. Okay, got more coins as well as the spatula that we saw earlier. And we're opening the lever, or opening the door using the lever. I like how there are just random characters doing random things in the background, like those two fish are playing ball behind us. <laughs> Which is totally random, but you know, nice to see. Okay, we have some more enemies here, let's just charge right through. And we have another spatula right there. I can't believe I missed it earlier. Strangely enough. Um, let's see. Oh, 
There we go. So we have the third spatula right there. That means we have essentially collected all three from this zone. Or this level, excuse me. Okay, then we gotta solve this. I mean, we gotta go through this again. Yeah, so seems like there aren't any. Oh, oh. Okay, so, but anyway, it seems like there aren't any extra spatulas inside the plankton zone, but there might be coins because we are only at 130 out of 150, so. Highly likely that they put the remaining 20 in that plankton zone that you see over there, but yeah. How are we gonna suppose? How are we supposed to get up there? Was there? There wasn't a trampoline or anything. Oh, I think the anchor is supposed to. Yeah, the anchor automatically gets us up there. Gotta get a stalagmite. Yeah, so I think we're almost to the end of the level. Um, it's pretty much it since we don't have access to the bonus level yet. But a, uh, we do have access to a different bonus level. Um, off camera, I actually unlocked the third bonus level, that in Glove World. So that will be what we'll start part 8 with. Um, Glove World level, th or at least level 3-5. And then followed by um, the Flying Dutchman's ship. So do stay tuned for that. Oopsie. Um, yeah. Stuff like that happens, so... I'm still considering whether I should do like another, like a... non-stop playthrough or live stream of this game on, on my MacBook Pro because it is available for Mac OS as well. Which is a really cool thing by the way, it's the first time a Spongebob game has been made okay, available like on Mac Fire the App Store, with exception of Spongebob typing, I think. So yeah, that is all for this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep it right here on Ultimate Spongebob 101. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!